Hello YouTube and welcome back to ASX Portfolio. So today we're going to be talking about the last part of the efficient frontier and we just simply need to graph our results now. So if you remember from last time we now have uh, three optimizations um, being completed. One is to calculate the minimum variance portfolio, one's to calculate the max sharp ratio portfolio and one's to establish the efficient frontier for a given level um, target return that we want, what is the minimum amount of risk. And we just step through different target functions between uh, the minimum return and the maximum sharp ratio return um, to get those levels of volatility. So now we want to plot it on a graph. So how are we going to do that? So the first thing here is that we have to import our library and what we're going to use to plot um, all these graphs is Plotly. So if you haven't used Plotly before, go ahead and um, pip install. And we're going to import that as go object. So Plotly graph objects, I actually better do that now. Um, so activate efficient. If you've been following with the same library, you can do this as well. Pip install Plotly. Okay, so now coming back down here, let's look at our calculate results function. So um, since since uh, doing this optimization, I realized that um, we don't want to be rounding this number prematurely before we come down here and give it our target returns. So we actually want to bring both of these functions that we round our max returns and our volatilities along with the minimum portfolio returns and volatilities down to the bottom. And that it just ensures that we're getting the granularity between the min vol return and the max um, sharp ratio return. So we've just moved those down here. Now we're looking at the target returns. I'm also going to export this from the calculated results because obviously we want to plot what the efficient um, volatility is, this efficient list, the minimum volatilities against the returns. So how are we going to plot this? Well, we're going to define a function and let's call it efficient frontier graph. And now the things we want to import are the things that can go into this function. So what do we want to return? We want to return return a graph plotting the min, vol, max, sharp ratio and efficient frontier. That'll do. And the first thing that we're going to establish are all these variables. So we're just going to copy those variables, make that equal to our function here. Calculate results from these parameters. I can get rid of these because I'm initializing them in the top of the function here. And I want them as user input information. So if you haven't used Plotly before, that's okay. You can look up the documentation, but essentially what we have to do is um, establish all our traces. Um, and we're gonna have three traces, max sharp ratio, min volatility, and the efficient frontier curve. And then we're going to um, actually define a layout um, and then plot plot the graph. So let's talk about our traces first. So max sharp ratio first. So we're going to define the trace as max sharp ratio. And we're going to make that actually go dot scatter plot because remember this is just one point. So in the scatter plot we're going to give it a name and we're going to actually call it maximum sharp ratio comma um, the next feature we're going to define is the mode and we're going to call it a marker so markers um, we have to define what the x and y coordinates are so thinking about this for the efficient frontier we want to be plotting um, on the x-axis our volatility and the y-axis our returns. So for the max sharp ratio 
the returns go on the y-axis and the standard deviation on the x-axis. Now we want to define maybe what that marker is. Um, so let's go marker and we need to return a dictionary with all the properties that we're going to have. Now some of the properties that we might want to define, color, um, size of the marker, um, what else is available? Um, line, so let's let's put a line around our marker just to make it really distinct. Um, so let's make the color red. Let's make the size 14 and the line. We're going to define again a dictionary, um, a width three and the color we're going to make it equal to black just so it's a black uh, black bordered red marker <laughs> nothing more distinct than that okay excellent so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to now copy that trace for our min vol portfolio so let's call this trace min vol um, we're going to name the name this minimum minimum volatility and we're going to say marker we're going to get the min vol returns place that as the y min vol standard deviation place that as the x we're going to make this green we're going to keep the size as is and leave a black border with three around it um, now uh, the interesting part we're going to define the efficient frontier again copy that that tracer efficient frontier so obviously the name's going to be efficient frontier um, we might call this ef curve so now if our efficient uh, list is our standard deviations and our target returns are in that list there what we're going to want to do is actually round out these functions though. So we're going to go round target times 100 to get it in percentages. Leave two decimal places and then we're going to go for target in target return. So just a bit, bit of list comprehension there. And the same thing up here. So we're going to go round EF. Um, and remember these are the standard deviations, so EF standard deviations and we're going to go times 100 two decimal points for EF standard deviation in efficient list. Excellent. So this is important now, um, this efficient frontier is not going to be a marker, a set of markers, so we probably don't want to scatter, oh, we want to scatter plot, but we want to define the mode um, as lines. So we're going to define it as lines. Um, the marker now property is turned to lines or line, and we're just going to exactly attribute all these different um, parameters. So we're going to make it a black line very interesting, we're going to make the width, the width parameter, we're going to make that, let's say, three or four, and we're going to make this line dash, um, we're going to make it a dash dot line, just so it's really clear, dash dot, and again, if you want to change up any of these parameters, um, for you how you see fit, then all you need to do is go into the documentation for Plotly. And you can of course experiment and try different combinations of things. So now we're going to define our traces um, or data, traces, same thing. Um, we're just going to list out that we're going to take the scatter plot max sharp ratio, we're going to take the scatter plot min vol and we're going to take the scatter plot ef curve which is a line so now we need to define the layout now layout is defined dot go layout and we're going to name the properties as well so first thing we want to define is a title so an appropriate title might be um, portfolio optimization 
um, for yeah or with the efficient frontier. Excellent. So y and uh, y axis and x axis. So y axis we want to name annualized annualized return and that's as a percentage we then want to define um, the x-axis so x-axis so for the x-axis we're going to define as the annualized volatility as a percentage Now, we probably want to show a legend for the points and the dashed line um, to explain what they are. So let's say show legend, show legend, and we're going to make that parameter equal to true. Now we want to define what the legend is. So again, we're going to have a dictionary with all our properties. So first off, the position where it's going to show. Um, this takes a bit of getting used to about where things are positioned on the graph, um, but essentially I want it in the bottom right hand corner, so that's why I am defining these, these variables, 0.75 and y is going to be zero. So we also want to say what the trace, uh, the trace order is going to be. Um, so the trace order uh, we want to define as normal, so that just means that um, things in the legend are going to show as we've defined it here in the data. Um, other things we want to make it be, maybe change the background color so it's very clear that it is um, it is a legend. So the background color, BG color, is equal to, and I've got I've got this funny um, off gray just to make it blatantly obvious. Um, so it's just hashtag e2, e2, um, e2 for the hex code there. And um, the border color, uh, well, we just want to make it black. So black. Um, and one last parameter, maybe we, we want to define that border width as well. Border width is equal to 2. Okay. So now we've defined the legend. Is there any other pieces of information that we need? Uh, yes, we want to define um, what the width and height of this graph is going to be. So when we print it out, um, what's going to be the width and what's going to be the height of this figure. And essentially, we're just going to go with um, width of 800 and height of 600 for now. So now we need to define our figure. So in Plotly, that's just go dot figure. Very intuitive. And we're going to make the data equal to data and the layout equal to, you guessed it, layout. So from this function, we want to return the figure and um, we, we want to show that figure uh, straight away. So we've got our three traces, max, sharp ratio, min, vol and efficient frontier. We want to take the EF graph with our mean returns that are already being calculated up here uh, with our date ranges in our stock lists that we've already defined and we're going to plot that down here. Okay, let's give that a whirl. So it's just calculating all our portfolio. Oh, we've got an error message and it's printed out the dictionary. So obviously we're using something that um, we shouldn't have done. Annualize volatility, x axis, property of layout. Needs to be a dictionary of values. And let me guess, is there title in there? Title. Where are you? Title font. Oh, there must be title in there. Title. Okay. 
Easy. So we just need to change, I'm guessing, both of these um, to dictionary title and dictionary title. You have to be very explicit with Plotly sometimes. So just rerunning that function and hopefully we're going to get a pop-up um, with our graph results. So it's popped over to this screen, so I'm gonna actually move it over to here so you can see it. So now we have um, portfolio optimization uh, with the Efficient Frontier. Um, we have analyzed returns, we've got the min vol um, point, the max sharp ratio, and we've got our Efficient Frontier line plotted in black. So that's pretty cool. Um, obviously now it would be really nice if we could have some buttons, uh, as I've done in the app, to change the date range that you look back um, for the historical uh, variables like volatility and return. And also it would be nice to define the portfolios to say which stocks you're interested in. So if you made it all the way to the end, I hope that you found a lot of value um, out of this and that you're gonna impress your boss with uh, being able to model a portfolio, an optimum portfolio with more than two or three assets. So um, yeah, if you guys want more content around how to develop um, Plotly dash apps, um, specifically with regard to this or, or any other um, combinations, that's an area that I'd like to get into, but um, obviously depends on feedback from you guys. Um, if you made it all this way, please uh, yeah, feel free to give me a like and um, subscribe for new content that comes up. So thank you very much for listening to ASX Options and see you in the next tutorial.